Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 21st of January. Now all the attention is focused on this system next week that just maybe will bring a major winter storm to parts of the southeast. Let's see if we can answer some of the questions. Now, first off today, just cold and clear. That's the view coming from Trustville. Nice to see the sun out, but it's cold. There's the Demopolis Sky Cam down below the Tom Bigby River and Way down south in Pike County, it's a sunny and cold day on the campus of Troy University and their football stadium there. Uh, energy rotating through the northeast United States. That's what's brought the uh, light rain and snow to Alabama last night. That is long gone. In the wake of that, it's just cold. Uh, those are midday temperatures uh, about uh, the lunch hour today. Still only mid-30s around here. And again, uh, we'll struggle to hit 40 today. And around the nation, man, it's... Uh, it's tough. In fact, the uh, low this morning in International Falls, Minnesota, was 46 below zero. Are you kidding me? That's a new record low for the day. It's hard to get a record low in International Falls. And at cold air, thank goodness that the really serious part of that is staying north of us. There's a watch warning map. Things pretty quiet for now. But I'm afraid that'll be lighting up like a Christmas tree early next week again. Here's the QPF chart, expected precipitation through Wednesday morning of next week. Wednesday morning at 6 o'clock, and that shows uh, really not that much, about uh, a quarter to a half inch, but that remains to be seen. It's got the heavier totals up to the northeast. And again, really more questions than answers about next week's system. Uh, we'll uh, peek at the GFS. This is the 12Z run. Valid at noon tomorrow. Pretty strong energy coming through the base of the trough, and uh, we think that's going to bring some clouds in here uh, tonight and tomorrow. And more than likely, that keeps temperatures in the uh, uh, 20s. Uh, both the NAM and the GFS are showing 22 tomorrow morning. And then maybe some morning clouds, the sky becoming sunny by afternoon. We're talking mid-40s. Sunday, warm up pretty nicely. Low and mid-50s, that'll feel pretty good. All right, let the fun and games begin. This is next week. There's Monday. You can see the energy coming down from the northwest. Down below that, some light rain breaks out Monday at uh, midday. Go to Monday night at midnight, and again, it's a kind of a close call for the Tennessee Valley with some wintry precipitation. Uh, rain for the southern two-thirds of the state. Heaviest rain down around Mobile. Tuesday, a surface low develops uh, off the coast of the Carolinas with uh, snow mainly east of here. The GFS is suggesting for us it would not be a big deal. And then on Wednesday, that thing kind of bombs out with a blizzard, perhaps, for Long Island and New York and Boston. But wait a minute now. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, European. It's much slower, colder, and deeper. This is Tuesday night at midnight, and it's got the surface low near Savannah, Georgia, with the potential for a big snow going on over uh, parts of North Alabama and Tennessee. Hey, now. And the Canadian is even slower. This is Wednesday morning at 6 o'clock. The Canadian's got the surface low, again, on the South Atlantic coast near Savannah. Potential for a big snow for a pretty good chunk of north and even uh, west and southwest Alabama, if this is right. So, you know, the, the, Can the European has done very well this season. And you have to respect that, so uh, we're going to start leaning in the direction of maybe some snow around here at some point early next week, whether it's Tuesday, Tuesday night, we don't know, whether it's east, northeast Alabama, the bulk of it in Georgia, we don't know that yet, but it clearly potential for a major winter or weather event for parts of the southeast early next week. All right, we'll go to Thursday. The whole thing is uh, moving out. It's just cold. Week from today, cold. Week from tomorrow, getting colder. 1,044 millibar high coming at us, and on the 30th, it's really cold. That's why we were saying that we're having a hard time warming up, and then just for the fun of it, a couple of days later around Groundhog Day, boy, that's trouble. Northern branch delivering the cold air. Look at the ridge over the western part of the continent, and the southern branch with mischief undercutting that. Boy, that looks icy, snowy, messy. And I'll say this, the GFS has been very persistent in the idea of a Groundhog's Day-type winter storm here. Whether it happens or not, we don't know that yet. That's still out there in voodoo country. And then on the uh, 6th, we've still got that active southern stream and 
potential for issues there. So, again, cold, unsettled, exciting, all kind of things could be happening here for the next two weeks. So strap in and hang on for a wild ride. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here, by uh, my next video, will be Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters, the man who looks like Colonel Sanders. We'll have the videos tomorrow and Sunday. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.